This is a demonstration of the Air Marine Research Tunnel Boat and V-Boat Design Program. I'm Jim Russell and I'm going to show how to start your project using the Quick Design Wizard. The Quick Design Wizard feature is a terrific way to get a fast start in describing your new tunnel boat or V-Boat design to the software. If we're starting a fresh design, we can go directly to the Quick Design button. This brings up the Quick Design Wizard that gives us a choice of a dozen typical tunnel boat or V-hulled designs. I'm going to design a recreational tunnel boat with a center pod. So I select it here, and now I'll type in the name of my design file. I can type anything descriptive in here. Now I'll just click the Modify button so I can add a few descriptive details of my new design. I can add in as many or as few of these descriptions as I want to at this stage. So I'm adding that the length of my boat is 20 feet, the overall width is 90 inches, I'm going to use a 350 horsepower Mercury Verado engine and my boat by itself is going to weigh about 1400 pounds. My design is going to include a center pod and I'm going to have sponson bottoms with no steps. The software has all the OEM lower unit specifications built in and I'm going to select the Mercury Verado Sportsmaster unit. So I'm all done and now I'll just press OK. The Quick Design Wizard will now use the typical recreational tunnel hull design that we selected and modify over 100 details driven by the few descriptive dimensions that we've input. So I just click on Select and I'll be ready to go to the main design file screen and pick our new file name by just clicking OK. So there's my modified typical recreational tunnel hull design and I can just click Input to see all the design details. So now I'm just going to review all of the design inputs and make some changes to make it exactly what I'm looking for. For example, I'm going to change my center pod width and change my center pod dead rise so that it's a flat pad. Now on the second screen, I'm going to use the motor wizard to bring in my engine specifications. So I select Mercury High Performance, and then I select the engine specifications for my Mercury Verado 350 horsepower. And now I just click on the green Update Design button, and all the engine specifications are brought into the software automatically. On the fourth input screen, I'm going to change my cockpit design to the cockpit with a windscreen. I want to get this description right because this can affect the overall aerodynamics and the cockpit drag. And now I'm ready to go to the third screen and set up my quick performance analysis. I'm going to use the Auto 123 performance wizard to make this really easy for me. So all I have to do is go to the toolbar and click Calc Perform. And this shows me my limiting or maximum velocity of about 94 miles an hour. There's a huge amount of additional information on this report, but I'm going to click on Add VMAX and go to the second step of performance analysis. This custom report gives us a huge amount of performance information throughout our whole velocity range. We're not intending to go through the details of this report here, but we can see some of the highlights of the analysis, like trim angle range, a thorough analysis of your hull's dynamic stability, an analysis of the hump zone transition velocities, an analysis of wetted surface changes for spons and bottoms and center pod bottom areas, and even a heads up on porpoising tendencies and critical velocities. This custom made report summary is one of the most powerful features of Tunnel Boat V-Boat Design Program. Click on details to look at all of the performance measures throughout the entire velocity range. There's three pages of over 500 data points of performance measures throughout the velocity range, including all lift and drag components, lift coefficients, dynamic stability, porpoising, and trim angle changes. The graphic presentation makes it really easy to see how any of these performance measures change through the velocity range. The integrated help manual is over 150 pages long and is context sensitive so that it takes you exactly where you need to be depending on what part of the program you're using. We've had a look at how easy it is to use the quick design wizard to come up with our own recreational tunnel hull design and see some of the performance characteristics that it will have. We can now make design and setup changes and see how that affects performance.